Patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction commonly include persons with obesity. Whether treatments that target obesity can reduce heart failure-related symptoms and physical limitations in such patients is unknown. A new trial assessed whether semaglutide, a glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist approved for long-term weight management, would lead to reduced heart failure-related symptoms and physical limitations in addition to weight loss. In this multinational randomized controlled trial, 529 adults with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and a body mass index of 30 or higher were assigned to receive subcutaneous semaglutide at a dose of 2.4 mg or placebo once weekly for 52 weeks. The trial had dual primary endpoints, one of which was the change from baseline to week 52 in the Kansas City Cardiomyopathy Questionnaire Clinical Summary Score, which quantifies heart failure-related symptoms and physical function. This endpoint favored semaglutide, with the score increasing by a mean of 16.6 points as compared with 8.7 points with placebo. The other primary endpoint, the percentage change in body weight, also favored semaglutide, with body weight decreasing by 13.3% as compared with 2.6% with placebo. Serious adverse events occurred less often with semaglutide than with placebo, owing primarily to fewer cardiac disorders in the semaglutide group. The authors conclude that in patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and obesity, once weekly treatment with semaglutide led to greater reductions in heart failure related symptoms and physical limitations, as well as greater weight loss, than placebo. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.